Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dwayne down here at the Platinum Music Complex. Today, I'm joined by Debbie Sexton. What's up? Give it up. Make some noise, guys. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> thanks for having me here. Well, thanks for coming out, Debbie. It's amazing yeah. what you've done. So what do you think about the place? It, it, it's mind-blowing, you guys. You guys have to come check it out. You got the, a vault? Talk about that. Yeah, the recording studio down the vault's pretty cool. We just got that opened up two weeks ago Saturday. We got a nine nine zone entertainments that's uh, running the uh, mix and mastering and recording down there. Guys it, are doing an amazing job. It's a vault, people, like a bank vault. Yeah, you haven't seen it since we got it finished. No. It looks pretty amazing. Guys have done an awesome job. And that. how many rooms do you have up in here? Well, we've got 125 on the third and fourth floor. We're adding another 40 uh, to this floor here. And this place is really cool and not only i mean i was so impressed because not only can bands come in and rehearse and stuff they can record i mean tell them all the stuff that yeah, you do pretty much everything like i said you can go downstairs recording studio you can come up here we got this live room right here it's pretty awesome if you want to get sharpened up before you go out on the stage uh we're, many people have been shooting music videos in here uh, we've got the photography studio, music stores coming in. We've got a tattoo shop coming in. I got to finish up these arms, man. Hey! Get, you don't have muscles. You got to cover it all up with tattoos, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, you know, put some definition in my arms when I'm getting, getting my tattoos done. Put on pecs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tattoo is six But pack. yeah, man, everything's going good up here. It's going very fast, man. We've just been uh, really promoting the heck out of all the Dallas and Fort Worth bands. You know, we're, uh, we've got the app running live now, which these videos are going on there. So we're doing the interviews with the bands. Yeah, talk about the app because I I've, I've, have never heard of a studio doing this. Man, I'm just trying to think outside of the box on everything we're doing up here, man. We're, I mean, we're doing definitely doing something that's never been done anywhere. Uh, so on the app, we've got the uh, the radio station. We're going to start taking MP3s from the bands. So they can start sending their nice. music. And we're going to categorize it, you know, into rap, rock, metal, whatever. That way you don't have to go in there and just listen to the whole bucket of stuff before you get to something you like. And on the videos, you can actually pick the videos as you get to them, which ones you want to watch. And uh, so we're doing the interviews, kind of like a behind the music sort of thing. And so people can get to know the bands and... Uh, and after that, we're putting on their music videos and man, just really trying to push them as much as we can. And that's what like, I love. I always tell Dallas Fort Worth, you know, I love you guys. I love the local music scene. I've been in it 90s. I mean, we were just talking about Deep LM used to be like a rock and place. It's gotten better, but this is a place where you guys can actually come jam out watch bands maybe you're not in a band can people come up and just check it out or how does well, that work what we're doing right now we're waiting on some permitting we're going to start having shows back up in here again the the city kind of threw a wrench and some stuff we we're trying to do so you need to do loud local shows they're here. making us get that'd be awesome that'd be awesome come here and do some live ones yeah absolutely that, <clears throat> that would be killer do some a little acoustic sets up here with some of the bands that'd be great yeah so tell us a little bit about yourself what you've been doing Oh man, rock and roll, you know. <laughs> well, as you know, uh, the edge went away. Um, and so now what we're doing on the Eagle with Loud and Local is we're inviting alternative music along with rock and metal too. So that's cool. It's a it's a one stop shop thing. And I mean, the great thing I love about Dallas Fort Worth, and I've lived all over the world. I mean, and there's nowhere like the local scene for support like Dallas, Fort Worth local music scene. And so Loud and Local, yeah, it's on every Sunday night at 11, one hour, I gotta jam we'll everything it. in there. Yeah, um, but I love what you're doing here because it's bringing the local scene in one spot. You know, and the thing that I love about the bands here is like everybody just supports each other. Yes, there do. might be some drama, but man, I don't see it. I mean, that they keep it on the down low, I guess, but like, I'll go to one show and like other band members are there from other you bands. You always see that. Always. It's really awesome. And let me tell you something. Big, big name people are starting to look at Dallas, Fort Worth. So bands, they get are. your stuff together, brother, because I'm telling you, they're really looking at it. It's just like Metallica picked um, Dallas to be in the, we didn't win, but <laughs> we almost won. They came went. close, man. Dude, Mothership and also Messer, we were this Yeah, Messer was close. killing it. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. I mean, so we almost got it, but Local H, and I was like, why the hell is Local H? But whatever. <laughs> but anyway, I'm telling you, big bands, um, lots of people are starting to, to look at Dallas-Fort Worth, and you'll see it. I mean, just like um, Big Story is on tour with Seether. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. So. And they're opening us up some really nice music venues now here in Dallas. they got the Lava Cantina out there. Have you been in there yet? No. Uh, the place is amazing. 
I'll have to it's check nice. it out. Very crowded, so get there early. Well, you know, Dallas is growing big, so our music needs to, too. So, you know, there's a lot of bands that I need to I need to find out who you are. You know, we want to play. And you know what I think? A lot of these bands don't realize. Dude, you can say I'm, I've been played on the top five market in the nation. Dallas is number five in the there nation. There you go, guys. Get your music up there. And also, we were talking about Facebook. This is a problem. <laughs> bands <laughs> guys seriously um what i do i make sure that you're from the dallas fort worth area so i do investigation work because some of these people will say they're from dallas and they're not we want to keep it local most definitely and a lot of times on facebook when i'm reading your bio because you're too drunk to pick up the phone to talk to me it will just say <laughs> stuff like uh we're from color we rock how am i going to promote you on top five market radio <laughs> so you know uh Definitely Facebook. Check out your bio. That's awesome. Hey. Maybe you can start like grooming some of these bands on. I need to do that. Start sending some. Get you guys on the radio. Get you guys. I throw an Eagle ninety seven. You know, I know, I know a lot of you bands now are into the self promoting. Let me tell you, man, it, it's only going to go so far. You keep posting on the Dallas Fort Worth forums. You need to reach outside of Dallas Fort Worth. You know, and, I, and I've noticed one thing that's happening here at the clubs in Dallas. You got the same handful of bands that are playing the same circuit, you know, eventually, you know, everybody's getting tired of going and seeing the same bands. There's a lot of bands here in Dallas. There's a lot of talent. There is a lot of talent. And, and like we were talking earlier, I don't care if you're the best band in the world, if you're not marketed and you're not being pushed and nobody's ever going to know who you are. And, and that's one thing that we're trying to do here. That's one thing Debbie's trying to do with you guys on Eagle 97. So you guys get your music out, man. We're we're here to help you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm telling you, you've got to check out this place. He's got great rates, great stuff, and coming together, just you know, musically with people, you're going to start talking and you know, making manifesting things happening. Most definitely. A lot of these people are like, I want to go on a tour. Well, go on a mini tour, man. Go from Dallas to Austin, San Antonio, Houston. You know, but it's everyone getting together. Most and definitely. This guy can definitely. Help you out. And that's all we're here to do, man. Let's help you get you guys get your music out. Oh, and another thing, um, if you want to send me your music, make sure you use KEGL.com keyword loud and local MP3 where it says, because a lot of you guys are like, well, I'll just send it to you. Digitally, it won't take. You have to go through the website. So don't send it to Frosty or myself because <laughs> don't be mad. That's the way it is, you know. <laughs> so besides the Eagle, what else, what else you got going on? Just working, just yeah. working, checking out bands and um, just trying to help the local music scene. Been any awesome shows lately? Uh, the last show we went to, what's the last show we went to? <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> Who did we go to? Oh, I guess it was Metallica. Was yeah. that a pretty good show? Oh yeah, it was. I haven't seen them guys in years. Yeah, it's not the same. I mean, the band's phenomenal, of course. You know what was really cool is, okay, so Local H, Cindy Skull and I kind of, you know, bashed them a little bit because we were like, why did you win? It should have been actually, <laughs> it was Mothership and then Messer. But what was cool is Local H actually invited um, Kyle, the lead singer of Mothership, and then Derek, the lead singer of Messer, to come do a song. That's cool. Yeah. And That's so really cool. Kyle and them, Mothership was actually in um, Europe. And so Derek went up and sang with them and wore a Mothership shirt. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's cool. You know, That's very supportive. Yeah, very supportive. So that is awesome. um, I think that was the highlight of <laughs> the Metallica show because I'm like, yeah, our boys, one of them made it, you know, up there. So what about you? Man, I haven't been in any big shows in a while. I've, I've been so busy here. I mean, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm probably working 16, 19 hours every day. You know, once the place is up and running, I can just really focus on music. I mean, we're still remodeling a lot of the buildings, so. It looks great. I mean, I'm really impressed. The first time when I, was it this put together, this is really impressive what you've done. I appreciate that. And this is a place in Dallas Fort Worth that people can come, man. So come check it out. Definitely. You guys can't see this killer view, man. Six thirty five right here. Actually, I can see right now. You would not want to go anywhere because no. the traffic is like barely moving. But yeah, yeah. But, but you know what we cool? Can, no, can you? Do you guys? Will you sell alcohol here? We're gonna we're uh, getting our uh, beer and wine license. Oh man! So you can sit back. Yeah. jam out and just laugh at people in the traffic we can that sounds good <laughs> we can and there's just something about that's i think is cool a lot of musicians probably don't care 
but I think it's really awesome when you're up on the third or fourth floor in the rehearsal rooms and you're up there jamming and you're just looking outside because you the whole one whole wall's glass and just sitting there just watching traffic it's cool yeah it is cool then, and th there's these windows here are like amazing I mean it's not your typical dark studio and stuff like that it's like yeah it's definitely something it's, it's more open I, I find it to be more creative for myself I mean everybody else may not see it that way but I do <laughs> that's all that matters right <laughs> no this I, like I said I'm really impressed with this so do you have any stories here yet Mm, none that I should share. Oh, okay. But uh, I've got a lot of killer bands in here. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> tell us. So so tell us about the bands you see in here. Man, I've I've been getting some really good talent in here. Uh, a lot of the guys are getting ready for a bunch of big shows. We've got one coming up here at the interview after you here in just a little little while. Um, man, we've been getting just a ton of uh, a lot of the tribute bands have been practicing here. You know, we get Saints and Sinners and all those guys, House of Holy and uh unfortunately i shouldn't say unfortunately because I, I like the guys but I, I'm, a, I'm an original music kind of guy mm -hmm. but there's a lot of right now the tribute bands are really big in dallas so yeah they're, they're hot yeah for all the all the big places you want to land you know the house of blues or places like that so but yeah other than that man everything's been staying pretty smooth we're just uh we're open we're opening a lot of production studios in here like i said we're open for every all genres yeah, and that's really cool. Yeah, because I've seen some hip hop artists. Yeah, up so here. we've got some hip hop artists, and you know, we've gone build some vocal booths up in their rooms for them, so they can get in there and do their recording. And so, give me kind of a laundry list. What's a, what? What does Platinum offer? Platinum, man, we offer everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, so we got the recording studio. We've got the uh, cafe slash pub that'll be opening pretty soon downstairs. Uh, nice. We've got this big live room here. We'll hopefully be kicking off here in the next couple of months with the uh, with live concerts up in here again as soon as all the permitting's finished. Uh, we've got uh, the music store coming in across the hallway, the photography studio. Uh, like I said, we got this room here for live videos as well. Tattoo? Yeah, tattoos, man. Got to get your tattoos. Got, so how, how big is this place? This is almost uh, 70,000 square feet. Four-story building sitting right on 635. Easy access. Uh, man, my rates are awesome. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, you guys have to check this out. This is mind blowing. So I have never seen anything like this. Is there a place other than here like this? That, no, know? I get calls all the time from you know other other cities. You know, people from LA have been calling me. New York, you know, Nashville. They're like, dude, what in the world are you doing over there? So see, so y'all better hurry up. And it's get your it's room. getting out. Yeah, I've got a like I said, I've got 125 rooms upstairs, and I believe I have. 38 40 rooms left right now so hurry time's ticking <laughs> you guys need to get down here well debbie i sure appreciate you coming out today yeah, oh, absolutely. I'm a hugger, oh hug me <laughs> and be sure guys go get your music sent in to kegl.com keyword loud and local and there's a place where you can mp3 not wave files waves are too big never thought i'd say gotta it's compress too big, them but, gotta yeah, compress gotcha. them <laughs> We like it small. <laughs> but yeah, send it to me and, and we'll see what we can do for you. Dallas, Fort Worth, keep rocking. Come down here and see us at the Platinum Music Complex. We're located at 2964 LBJ, Dallas, Texas, 75234. You guys keep rocking. See you soon. Yeah.